Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha and fueled by StarTron. Oh, he's on you. Here he comes. Oh, there he is. Come on, do it again. Oh, oh there he is again. Come on, get it. Yeah, oh. you got him that time. Wow. Good that job. was cool, dude. God, I love that. That was so cool. Whoa. <laughs> Got that Jay Walker 120 sideways in his face. Now, why are you starting up the engine there, Jared? I'm just trying to keep the sharks off the fish. Okay. You know, there's just a bunch of sharks in here, and if you don't get on that motor, a lot of times they're going to eat, you know, eat one of these guys. Oh, you know, I see. On a big, impressive fish like that, I don't. You know, it's sad. Sad when it happens. So, you know, we've come down here. I fished with you and I fished with your brother. You and I had a Grand Slam day fly fishing. Caught bonefish, permit, tarpon. But that's also in the summertime, yep. the prime time for all those glory species is, you know, from March till yep. November. And when it gets cold, you guys revert to the flats, and when you have warm days, here we are in the month of January, yeah. when you have warm days, you guys can permit and bonefish, not many tarpon around in January. Yeah, it's, it's got its, its times, but yeah, no, this is kind of my bread and butter in the winter months, and honestly, it's the, probably the most underrated fish we have. Ooh, not quite ready. But you know, they're, they're aggressive, they run, they jump, you can sight fish yeah, them. Yeah, and that's the, you know, it's like a, you know, for the freshwater people, I thought it's like a supercharged pike or muskie. Right. You know, they'll do 30, 40 miles an hour to catch, catch whatever it is you're throwing. You know, they eat flies. You know, it's a very angler-friendly fish. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, that's a nice one, man. Nice. That, that is, is so sweet. awesome. <clears throat> man. Check that guy out. Dude. <laughs> and you know, to be able to watch that fish, he tried to eat that Jay oh, yeah. Walker 120 three times. He hit at it and missed it. Yep. You know, and so why don't, for people who don't know what a barracuda is, what do they do? They come up and cut the tail yeah, off? Yeah, usually try and cut things in half. You know, they're, they're a predator, or a uh, ambush predator, so they're, you know, sitting in the sea fan sponge garden. Ooh. And, uh, you know, they just kind of sit there and hang out, and they were all wrapped up. And, you know, they're, when they see something go shooting by, that instinct kicks in and they gotta chase it. I'm gonna toss him in and uh, untangle him like that, I think. Yeah? This wire, unless, yeah, you wanna do it like that. This wire's around this backpack then, too. There we go. Now, should be able to get that out. There we go. Man! Man, that's a... <clears throat> that's a <laughs> nice barracuda, dude. I'll take it, good way to... You know, what I love about this is you think about when you were a kid, you knew what a barracuda oh, and what a shark was. Yep. And they're both living here on these flats just to the west of Key West. All right, let's All let right, him go. go. Yeah, man. Let's do that about 25 more times. I love Heck yeah. watching their aggressive behavior. So neat. And it's good to, it's good to be with you again, <laughs> yeah, big buddy. boy. Thank Glad you so much. Glad to have much. you back. Yeah, I love being in Key West. Only a mama could love that mouth. At the end of US-1 lies the southernmost city, Key West. Known for its sunsets, relaxing vibe, and the Duval Crawl, Key West is a vacationer's paradise. But there's all of that water. That's where someone like Captain Jared Sear comes in. To Jared, Key West is his office. And every morning, like everyone else, he's got his routine. There's his morning commute, he waves hi to the security guard at Ocean's Edge Resort and Marina, brings his lunch and his work tools, makes nice with the locals, then meets his client at the Ocean's Edge Fuel Dock. And for this Sportsman's Adventures, 
he will be guiding Captain Rick Murphy. Once the food, fuel, and a little Startron is on board, Captain Jared launches the Maverick to the flats for some fun fishing. What's fun? How about some Barracuda? There you go. Oh, I didn't even see that fish. Oh, we got a big oh, one. Oh, we got him. a big one gonna get ready to eat that. Yeah. Other little one. So see give that? me that. Wow. Oh man, I love the action of this sport. I'm gonna slide nice. myself a little bit farther back to this grass so I can stick out. You know, when I first started guiding down here, I didn't know anything about Key West, Jared. And Bob and Gene Montgomery, they uh, were boat builders, but you know, Bob was yeah. a, one that fished out of a carry down here, and then he got into the flats fishing as he got a little older. So he always had these big corporate guys, co corporate groups, they'd come uh -huh. down, a bunch of them. And this is what we would do when it was blowing 20. Oh man, it wasn't. We would, it was always in February or, or January is when those guys all wanted to come down here and get out of the cold. You know, I love it, man. It's like it's days that you would have canceled and not come. It's like we have an awesome fishery that's pretty healthy. There's a lot of them around. You know, it's something to do. Better than sitting at home on the couch. And to be able to see that fish yeah. 150 feet away. Chasing crash over white the sand. All right, I got your leader. Give me some yeah. slack. All right, got your slack. Nice. There we go. Heck yeah. Nice. God, I love these things. And it's pretty simple. Yeah. You know, throw it Just out. Just about anybody and can reel do it. it as fast as you can. They fish two bluers for them. I like throwing these. Yeah, the plugs are fun. <clears throat> Except for him. Look at that yep. lemon shark came in here to eat this barracuda. I don't think his future is the lemon shark. All right, buddy, go the other direction. Yeah, you better go that way, boy. <clears throat> That's it. Hey. <laughs> oh, I love it. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Rodan, set it, forget it. Catch more fish. Fish Bites and Fish Bites Fight Club Lures. Bahio, sky above, sea below. Pen, let the battle begin. And Startron, start, run, store with Startron. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. It's just so neat that you can see them laying there, you know? Yeah. What do you think they think the tube lure is, Jared? You know, I think it's, it's wow, that was a good jump. I think they think it's either, you know, ballyhoo, needlefish. Yeah, because in the wintertime, or in the, I'm sorry, in the summertime, we don't have them on the flat. They're all out at the reef. It's when all this bait pushes up in here is really when it drives them into the shallows. Is there any specific color you think works better than others? You know, I'm constantly changing, trying new things. I would have to say if I had to pick colors, I like green and yellow the best. But then, you know, there's days where I'm all about that and they aren't working. You switch to, you know, let's say, red or pink, and boom, they're on that one. Did you say you make these? Yep. Got to buy a big spool of it, and uh, it's your surgical tubing. Yeah, basically, you know, and, and there's definitely better tubing than others. Right. I like stuff that has, you know, this stuff's got a good stretch to it. Right. Because if I've used other tubing in the past, it doesn't have that stretch and those teeth. You, know, you can catch one or two fish on it, and they're shredded into a million pieces. Right. Uh, this particular stuff, though, it you know holds up to their teeth a little better. So you, what do you do? You got a treble hook, this big eagle claw in the back. Yep. A quarter ounce sinker in the front. And then Number a piece. seven wire and swivel. A swivel. Yep, simple. Nice and simple. I'm all about simple out here. <laughs> so that's what you do during, the, what's the peak time for you guys down here guide wise on um, the inshore stuff? I, honestly, I'm busy just about all year round. Uh, tarpon season's definitely our busiest. Right. And then I'd say fall is probably my next busiest. So in the off season, you make tube yep. lures and flies for yep. the 
time when it happens. I got myself quite the little station at home. Hey, buddy. Wow. 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 You know, it's so cool when we started talking about what we were going to do when I called you to schedule this show. You said, man, why, why don't we do well, I was artificials excited. for barracudas up on the flat shallow? I was excited about it. <laughs> and, I, you know, and I got to thinking about when I was a young guide, when I used to come down here, it was so fun to see these big barracudas on the flats, you know, doing exactly what we're doing today. They're, uh, they got to be our most underrated fish we have down here, you know. But it's the last couple years, man, that the popularity's taken off. People come down here and love it. You know, because you can come down here and permit fish, and we might only get a couple shots a day. Come down here this you time of year. Catch a half a dozen of those yeah, in a day. you know, yeah. easy. Yeah. So, Pull we, love, drag, we love them. Yeah, they aggressive. run, they jump. Got razor teeth, blades man. for teeth. Wow. Yeah, when you see this thing do 30, 40 miles an hour after a lure or, yeah. you know, the tube. It's yeah. hard to beat, and they'll eat flies, too. I'll let him go. All right. Thanks, buddy. Let's do it again. All right, dude. See you later. That brought back a lot of cool memories. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. That hey, was so thanks for cool. coming and doing it with me. Oh, man. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Get so this one. is our character here. Yep, that's the one. Swivel, wire, there's your yep. sinker. Cool, I like it. Simple. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by PowerPole, Total Boat Control, Fenwick, Feel Everything, Murphy's Law Sport Fishing. Book your trip today at murphyslawsportfishing.com. Island Lures, Tournament Tackle, Discover Crystal River, Florida, and Diamond Fishing Products. Our reputation is on the line. There we go, Jared. You're right, they're laid up down yep, this little rock. Way up on top of those rocks. I think it's just so cool that you can, on a day that you may think, oh well, we're not gonna catch anything because there's a little coolness to the air. It's not, you know, humid like the bonefish and the tarpon and the permit like, you know, it doesn't, when it feels tropical, then that's when it's always great tropical fishing in the winter time, you know? When you've got that little north breeze like you got going on right now, northeast, yep. east, you can feel it's a little bit, just a little Just a little chill. brisk, you know, to the air. Like when you run, you want to wear a jacket. Yeah. You know, and earlier we had lots of blue sky. We're now getting a little bit of cloud cover, but my point is that uh, this is a great alternative, you know, very visual. I also believe that it helps you with your sight you know, the geometry of sight fishing. Oh, without a doubt. You know, and it, you get lots of casting practice so that when the weather does get right, you know, for a uh, bullfish or permit or tarpon, you're ready to go. You know, I always, people ask me, you know, they start telling me they're gonna start fly fishing, you know? And I'll say, well, what you should do while you're learning how to cast, is go shark fishing and catch yep. catch some fish, catch some sharks. You learn how to strip, you learn how to clear the line, and then you really learn how to fight it so that when you get that big poon on, now it's, you know, muscle memory. Oh, look, that one's gonna remora. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You don't look so smart now yeah. <laughs> with that big yellow thing hanging from your face. There Sweet. Wow. Slimy critter. Man, I remember using those. Look how skinny he is. Yeah. That's why you're so hungry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of fun. All right. Yeah, so all right. This guy Let go. him go. We got had our fun. It's time for him to go back and think about what he did today. Yep. I can't imagine his conversation at dinner tonight. 
Barry, you won't believe what happened to me today. Yeah, man, I had an out of the water experience. <laughs> Dude. Hey, good job. So awesome. We're literally fishing downtown. Yep. Almost. Yep. That's the you know, even on like nasty weather days, like I mean it's still for the most, you know, unless it's really bad, we can always come out and do this kind of stuff. Whether it's sunny, whether it's cloudy, whether it's cold, you know, it's it's just a great opportunity when, you know, things aren't exactly great. You know, the bonefish permanent tarpon isn't going on, come do this. Yeah. All through the winter. Yeah. And also a lot of cool, cool museums, you know, you got the right. Hemingway's house and you got Mel Fisher yeah. stuff. A lot of great stuff in Key West to do. Yeah. Even uh, if you want to take a day off. I mean, yeah, yeah, world class. Yep. About as good as it gets. That's what I think half my people enjoy going to the restaurants down here as they do fishing. Yeah. You know? Well, you got world class food, yep. world class history, and world class fishing yep. guides. It's a special place. Special <laughs> fishing you, guides, too. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's do it again. All right, I'm ready. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, Relax. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands, Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia. The American Fishing Tackle Company, any fish, any water. Heroes on the water, paddle, fish, heel. And the Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Come on, buddy. Oh, that's a freaking stud, dude. Oh, he's a monster. Come on, buddy. Oh, wow. Oh, he's God. pissed off, man, Jared. Oh, boy. He is really pissed. <laughs> I thought you hooked the bottom at first. <laughs> that's a good wow. one. Wow. That was a fish I've been looking for today. What do I need to do here? Anything? Nope, just, just... stay tight on him. That's the biggest thing. OK. You got it. Wow. Dude, that's a good one. You see him come running at the boat? Yep. Lots of your, it's so dark. I saw your line was still going out, but he was coming at us. I didn't think that was him. He slurped. I mean, I just was reeling, and all of a sudden, it got slurped. He, I don't think he's even knows no, I don't something think he bad going on here. Huh. Now he woke up. He's a big one, bub. Oh, dude, look at the size of that thing. Wow. That is a big barracuda there, dog. Whew. <laughs> yeah. You, you said you're... there were some big yeah. ones that lived here, my man. Yeah. Didn't know you were getting a workout today, did you? I'm happy. This is the kind of workout an old dude likes. <laughs> I can't tell you how good it feels just to be back on the front of the boat, bro. 22 was a little bit, a little rough. Wow, he like a poon. He don't want to give up. Yeah. There he is. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's oh. what I'm talking about. Holy crap! Dude. Look at that Holy one! Holy crap! Dude, I can't if even you hold believe it. in sea monsters, <laughs> there's one in your boat right now, oh, boss. Dude, look at the size of the head on this wow. thing. Wow! Oh. oh my god. He's as big as me! <laughs> oh wow. man! Now that's a coup dude. there, dog! You see the head on this thing? How about it? Dude, good job. If we was fishing in the Cuda Bowl, we'd be sitting pretty. Oh, we'd be sitting real pretty. Oh, oh hold him. Look, dude, look how tall that thing is. Stand up here next to me. Oh. Oh, now drop his tail no. and let's see how. He's almost as tall as you are. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could call him a bosom Cuda. Yeah. He's as big as my yeah. uh, taller. Dude, wow. Check that out. Dang. Dude, you never know. You never know. You know what? King Sailfish. That would be a good one to mount right there. Heck yeah. Dude, that is a stud. Wow. All right, let's let right. that beautiful fish go. How many inches is that fish? It gotta be at least 50. 
Yeah. Well, I see I'm 5'6", so that's 66 inches, and he's up to here. So we'll measure me later. Make sure you spend plenty of time reviving him. That fish is worth a lot more to oh. be caught again than to have. Are you ready? Not, yeah. Yeah, man. Whenever you think he's ready. Dude, that is a dinosaur. Wow. I'll bet you this is one of the biggest ones I've caught. I can tell you that's the biggest one I ever caught personally. Thank you, dude. Wow. Dude, that is a true monster right there. Buddy, Thanks, man. Good job. I'm gonna stay up here. I, no way we're the same. I'm not Buddy. gonna I'm not gonna forget that one anytime soon. Me neither. <laughs> that was a good fish. And that's what Key West has yep. to offer. Always has. If you guys want to catch big monster fish, you just need to come down here, see Jared. If he's busy, go with his brother. And you guys are catch we'll make some world-class <laughs> fish. Without and a doubt. World-class accommodations and food. That's yeah. what the Keys always has to offer. It's a special You place. might have to take me home after that, but <laughs> Arms a little tired? Oh, everything's perfect. <laughs> There's nothing better than Key West's clear water and clear skies. And no matter what time of year, you can relax at Ocean's Edge Resort and Marina. But unfortunately, there comes a time where you gotta put the boat on the Ameritrail trailer to head home and plan your next sportsman's adventure. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.